If you are a DJ or a music producer, I'm gonna show you three absolutely essential neck stretches that you should be doing. I'm gonna go through them one by one and then I'll talk about them afterwards. So let's dive in. The first thing is just called a, a neck roll. So all you're gonna do is just start either standing or sitting and just start by bringing your chin down towards your, che uh, down towards your chest and then just rotating out to the side and then back all the way around. And this is something that you can do like anywhere from five to 10 reps of. It's not necessarily a stretch, but it's a good way to get your neck moving, especially if you've been in, uh, you know, sitting for a long period of time making music. Now, the second thing that you can do is what's called an upper trap stretch. The stretches, uh, I'm sorry, the muscles in the sort of the top of your shoulder and up to your neck. And a really good way to do this is, it's incredibly simple actually, you just take your ear right down towards your shoulder and so if I'm tilting my ear down towards my right side, I should feel it on the left side. And so if you feel the stretch there, then you can just hold it there. And I usually have people hold stretches about 20 to 30 seconds. If you don't feel it, you want a little bit of a bonus, you can add that right hand to the top of your head and just give a little bit of extra love to the side of the head, just tilting your ear even more down towards your shoulder. And same thing, so that's a little much for me. You, you want all the stretches to just feel light, shouldn't feel like anything intense. And just hold about 20 to 30 seconds and then tilt to the other side. Again, you don't have to use your hand, but you can if you want to. You can give a little pull down towards your left side, hold about 20 to 30 seconds, and that's a really good way to stretch the muscles from your shoulder to your neck. And then the last exercise that I wanna show you is a muscle, is a stretch for your muscle called your levator scapulae, which is a muscle in the, in the sort of the back of your neck there that can get really tight if you are uh, sitting for a long period of time or even standing for a long period of time, uh, just in one spot, basically. The way to do this is you basically take your nose and you're gonna take it down like you're gonna sniff your armpit, basically. So you take your nose, down just like that. Now the same thing, you can do the same thing that you did with the previous stretch. So when you tilt down, you can take the, your hand and kind of try to tilt it a little bit more. That's, you can totally do that. And just like the other stretch, you can hold this for about 20, 30 seconds and then come out of it and then switch to the other side. and then you come out of it. Each one, you just hold 20 to 30 seconds. And so these are three really good stretches that you can do for your neck if you're a DJ or music producer. And so why would you even wanna do this anyway? Um, so really when you think about it, if you're, if you're making music or even playing music and you're playing a set, you're pretty much in a, a similar position for a long period of time. So if you're making tracks, you're sitting, you're in front of a computer, and you're pretty much just in that spot until you finish the track or until you're just, until you're consider yourself done for, for the day. And so what tends to happen is the, the body likes to be in a position of, of high comfort and, and low resistance. And, but the problem is, is that it puts adverse stress on different muscles of your body. And so for purposes of this video, it, it can put stress on your neck. So if we break it down, this would really help if I had like a desk or a DJ deck in front of me, but let's, let's just kind of pretend a little bit. So imagine if I'm standing here and I have sort of my, my DJ decks here and I'm doing my thing. Um, if I'm standing there for a long period of time, it is really hard to maintain excellent posture throughout the entirety of your set. It's just really difficult to do that. So what tends to happen? So you start to, you start to get this and it's not much, much at first, but you get a little bit of this, this forward hunch and you get a little bit of this forward head too. Now part of the forward head, one of it is just to try to provide a little bit of comfort because again, it takes some muscular involvement to, to kind of stay upright like this. It's very easy to just stand like this, all right? It takes really no effort on my part, but it does put a lot of stress on the muscles of your, of your neck. And so if we can work, on stretching out those muscles, then that'll go a long way in helping to not only prevent pain, but if you do have some nagging aches or pain already, it's a good way to get rid of it. 
is pretty awesome. Um, the other thing is that your, your head tends to drift forward, especially if, well, either if you're playing a set or if you're uh, writing music, because we have a tendency to want to focus on what we're doing. It makes sense. So if we, we have a monitor in front of me, then uh, we have a, actually I have a monitor right here. So if we have my, my laptop that I'm working on, all right, the tendency is to want to, you know, focus on what you're doing. So your head tends to, tends to drift forward. And so as your head drift for, drifts forward along your, uh, towards the monitor, it puts more and more stress on your neck. So your head weighs, you know, roughly about 10 pounds or so. But as you drift forward, your head actually starts to weigh more relative to the force that it takes for your muscles to hold it up. So by the time your, your head is like jutted out that far, your, your muscles are now trying to support essentially 40 pounds of force. They don't like that very much. So we got to work on pulling things back, but not only that, but helping to uh, loosen up the muscles around the neck. All right. The other thing that is can tend to happen and why I included one of the, the stretch where you take your ear down towards your shoulder is as you're working on something, we, we carry a lot of stress. Like there's a lot of, there's a lot of stress as the DJs and music producers. You obviously want to make the best mixes and make the best tracks and, and you have deadlines and, and other, uh, other goals that you have to meet and it's a lot of stress. And so where do a lot of people carry that stress? They carry it in their shoulders. And by doing that, everything's all hunched up like this. And so all these muscles get incredibly tense and that can lead to neck pain, it can lead to headaches, migraines, and just overall just not good things. It just does not feel very good. So if we can loosen up those muscles using the stretches that I talked about earlier, it can really help a lot. All right, so I hope that you found this video to be helpful. Um, that is all I have for you for today. So try those three stretches out. Those are something, uh, those are stretches that you can do two, three times a day to, to help maintain uh, relaxation in your muscles, to help prevent and help get rid of pain, okay? So if you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. And if you loved it and wanna see more content like it, then definitely hit that subscribe button and I will see you in the next video.